This is J League, Japan's professional football league whose highlights, stars, and style have captivated fans over the last 28 years after being born on this date in 1993. From the very beginning, Japan embraced this new league, with both legs of the inaugural championship attended by over 50,000 fans in a season that saw over 3.2 million supporters go through stadium gates. Since then, the J League has grown tremendously. In size, scale, and strength, from its original 10 teams to today's 57 clubs spread across three divisions and 40 prefectures. But the more things change, the more some things stay the same. Take this guy, for instance, the man lifting this trophy in 1993, Kazuyoshi King Kazumura, continues to suit up in the top flight today in 2021. So, what's happened between then and now? Well, for starters, we've seen Kashima Antlers crown J League Kings a total of eight times, double the next closest team. We've also seen them capture a continental crown, alongside the likes of Gambo Osaka, Jubilo Iwata, and Urawa Reds twice. We've seen some classic stadiums go, and we've seen some emerge that seemed impossible to dream up in the early 90s. We've seen the kits change in styles a great many times, but they were fly then. And they're certainly fly now. We've seen fans dress a little bit differently over the years, but some of these looks are timeless. We've seen goals we'll never forget, like this one, or this one, or this one, or, well, yeah, you get the picture. A lot of good goals. But enough about those, let's talk about the celebrations. We've seen these goals celebrated in ways that we want to see again and again, and, well, maybe in ways that we should leave in the past. We've seen stars, a lot of them. Generation by generation, foreign football legends have showcased their skills here in Japan. Whether it's a Zico hat trick, an impossible Iniesta pass, a cheeky Lineker goal, Or an emphatic finish from Fernando Torres. J League has been defined by so many icons of the sport. And in the opposite direction, homegrown heroes have launched their careers here before taking their talents abroad. Japanese stars through the eras have gotten their start in J League, whether it's World Cup heroes like Hidetoshi Nakata, global icons like Keisuke Honda, or winners of major European leagues like Shinji Kagawa and Takumi Minamino. Much of J League's history is seen in the legacies of this domestic development. And the trend continues straight through the present day, with players like Takafusa Kubo carrying the torch for the next generation of J League products in Europe. It's not limited to just Japanese players who've gotten their starts over here, though. Foreign stars like Park Ji Sung of South Korea and Hulk of Brazil have paved their paths to Europe through Japan. Not to mention this bespectacled manager, who you might know as the great Arsene Wenger. But some of our best players ever have never played anywhere else at all. While winning 152 caps for Japan, going to three World Cups, and winning Asian Footballer of the Year, Yasuhito Endo played right here in J League. Kengo Nakamura went even further, dominating with a single club, Kawasaki Frontale, for all 18 years of his incredible career. As the years have gone on, we've seen triumph and celebration, but we've also seen moments of sadness and despair. We've seen disasters beyond comprehension, and we've gone through struggles together that we never could have imagined. But we've also seen through it all an indomitable spirit, an unforgettable solidarity emerge from our wonderful community, both in J League and in the football family beyond. So, as we celebrate this J League Day, we reflect on our proud history and our bright future. We relive the joys of what we've experienced all together and dream of what's yet to come. But most importantly, we say thanks to you, the J League fans, because without you, none of this is possible. So, here's to the next generation together. <laughs>